Okay, what is Chambers of My Heart? What is that? Hey guys, it's your humble host, Rekila, if you prefer. So I'm back with an unexpected video. Forgive my voice. I've been battling bronchitis, been down for a week, and this is my third take with this video. So I'm going to try to say what needs to be said efficiently and no more because I don't want to overtake the possible opportunity of what might or might not happen. So for those of you who have been around my channel seven to eight years, almost a decade, you will know a custody case that I covered and became very much entrenched in Daddy05. You also recall during that time how me and another YouTuber, Joy Sparkle BS, started to knock heads very vehemently with each other. You will also recall that on a channel called the Kumite, that we eventually discovered that we were being played and had been played against each other for a year. And it took a couple of other creators content creators to go, hey, let's put this together because it looks like you guys both got lied to. Um, you also recall shortly after that, the halls disappearing off of social media. You will also recall how a large Google Drive, which I still have a copy of, got released with everything we're talking about. You will also recall about four to five, maybe six years later and counting this is about Two years ago, when Heather Martin reached out to me via email and shared with me what needed to be shared, and we spoke for quite a while on the phone. And you also recall that I started to make videos exposing the full story of what was shared to me. Now, things have gone quiet since then because stuff has happened on my side and stuff has happened on the Martin side. Let me also say that everything I do is of my own volition. I am no one's agent. I am not bought for. I'm not paid for. I'm just Chambers and I know how to do a few things. That's it. So with that being said, what I'm going to address was brought to my attention. And suffice to say... Right now, I've had a slight emotional reaction to it. I am emotionally numb right now just because of the implications of it and how much when I look back at what transpired back then, just how, I don't want to say too big of a part I had in helping your break up a family that should have never been torn apart to begin with. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to play something. Hello, this is Emma Marie Martin. I'm tired with the online bullshit and I would like it to stop. My mother is not a child abuser. Please, Martins, fuck off. So that is Emma Martin. I will not be sharing the name of her TikTok. Um, I'm going to kindly request nobody go and harass the halls. Um, I will be treating this case like I do the Save James one. Back then, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what to look for. And going through some of the stuff that I was given by Rose... I had a few red flags that I did not notice back then. Um, but looking at this video, suffice to say, I was just, as I said, numb. Hello, this is Emma Marie Martin. I'm tired with the online bullshit and I would like it to stop. My mother is not a child abuser. Please, Martins, fuck off. So you can tell just from her attitude that in my personal observation, again, I'm an expert at nothing, that she 
doesn't necessarily want to do the video. She keeps looking off to the side like she's bored. She can't keep her eyes straight looking at the camera. And the fact that her body language keeps going like this tells me just like, okay, I really got to do this. Just, just get this over with. So from this, we can glean that people are still very upset at Rose. I do not condone harassing, death threats. None of that BS, please. Um, we can also glean that Rose is hell-bent on keeping Cody and Emma far away from the Martins and making sure that they never see their father again. And part of that is parent alienation. And before people say, I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, I did grow up with some experience with it. And then I have seen it with the Save James case. And there's other custody cases that I have seen mentioned on Father's Right pages. I follow Dad Talks today. Again, I'm an expert in nothing. But at the same time, you can tell from the video, there's no emotion behind it. There's no genuine expression behind it. These are not Emma's words. These are Rose's words. And Rose, if you're watching, I still have everything. What you did was irrehensible. The truth will come out and is already out there. I don't care how far you tried to go to Heidi. You've already proven you don't have the smarts to even try to do that. Let me explain something about parent alienation, something that I do know for a fact and something that I have seen confirmed with the Save James stuff, just as a solid example. When a child is alienated by a narcissistic parent, because I've seen the text messages between you and Mike. So you know. When the child is alienated, they are put into survival mode. Because if they begin to question the narcissistic parent, it could put the child in jeopardy. A perfect example of this is Save James. The last time Jeff went to go see James and Jude, they were so scared of going with their father, they didn't want to go and get ice cream, lunch, nothing. They were so scared to go with Jeff because Anne herself is a psycho. Rose, you have proven just from the stuff I've seen, the way that you dealt with me and Joy, the way that you responded and the text messages and along with other stuff, you were not mentally well. I'm not sure what caused a switch to flip in your brain to where you thought it was good for you to separate your children from their father. I have text messages. I have the text messages where you pretty much told Mike to keep Cody and Emma. That I do remember. Something along those lines. And I will put the video of me covering those text messages in the link in description. So at this point, what I'm going to say, because I don't want to take up too much time if it's time to rectify this, I'm going to do what I am enabled to do. I can't promise anything. I'm not a hero in this. I'm not a victim in this. But I will say if the opportunity is being presented to rectify the situation, then I will happily do my part and I also want to encourage the Martins too. Mike, Heather, Jake, the other two young gentlemen in the family, um, anyone else connected to the Martin family. The only thing that I will just not encourage, no harassing, just please do not do that. Again, I didn't know what I was doing back then. I had no freaking clue. But because now I have just a little bit of experience, a little bit of experience, I can handle this a lot better than I did last time. And I do want to apologize for the way that I handled stuff back then. Um, 
I'm not here to point fingers, but something I will say looking back that because of my lack of experience and foresight and discernment, I allowed myself to be led by my emotions, by people who had an ax to grind. And it was to the point where I had an emotional vampire, pathological liar, sink their fangs into me for six months. I was that messed up and that emotionally compromised um, from the way that stuff was getting handled by myself and others back then. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. I will see you guys in the next one again. This is a very unexpected video. And no, I will not be linking the TikTok video and I will not be exposing Emma's username. This is not a thing I'm going to be doing. And if you find it, kindly please do not post it in my comment section. Please and thank you. Have a good one.